Well, it's fantastic. It's been a long time coming. Um, unfortunately, it was uh, almost two years, and uh, we, we had had, uh, shortly after this happened, we had the Secretary HUD flew in from Washington, and he stood on the dirty bridge that was damaged and said, we're going to get it built stronger, uh, better, and faster. So he left out one of the words was faster. But, uh, you know, the government bureaucracy works in, in very, very slowly. And my concern was if we paid for it with the money from the, front, the town, we probably would have never got reimbursed. We would have been lost in the shop. And uh, I can really see how the federal government takes a long time. Uh, we did uh, enlist the help of Senators uh, Whitehouse, Reed, and Congressman Langevin, and they came to town about eight, nine months ago, and they couldn't believe it wasn't done. They were very upset. So they made some phone calls and got the wheels moving fast. And i got to tell you, the contractor did a phenomenal job. And he really did. He built this, you know, within budget, on time, and even working with some of the weather. We were lucky, but it's been cold out here. Not that I'm a rich inspector, but uh, he did a fantastic job. So, and i, and I got to thank mostly the residents who put up with the nonsense rerouting, detouring traffic, and the businesses. The businesses, you know, they, I'm sure they struggle. And, and they understood because I spoke with some businessmen and women. I spoke with the residents, and they understood that, you know, my concern was if I wrote out a check to pay for this, I believe wholeheartedly we were not going to be reimbursed by the government. It would have been 100000 plus of, of, of money that the town would not receive. So it was slow, and government do, does work too slow for me. But um, as I said, we were very fortunate to have our congressional delegation and whether they can look at it, it makes sense to the job. It's bigger, it's, it's wider, it's smoother. And we said we were, I've got concerns, obviously, with uh, emergency vehicles, but we didn't have any major incidents. It was good. The firemen and the policemen knew what direction they had to go in. There were backup plans, backup routes. So that worked out well. It was an inconvenience. They live in the area, the businessmen, they, they, they had more than patience. They waited, and I don't blame them for being upset, because I was upset. But I just didn't feel that, I, I just was very concerned that if I if we did pay for this, then we probably would have never gotten reimbursed. But uh, acting the uh, congressional delegation, they were very upset, so I think. So it's done. We're happy. We've got the ribbon, and people can drive over and, and enjoy the bridge. The contractors involved, you mentioned how such a great job. Um, um, what's Actually, I first met his dad. His dad, his dad, his dad, the brains behind the operation. You guys did a fantastic job. Why don't you give us some information? Well, the first question is always very tough. Can you say and spell your first and last name? Arthur <laughs> Delfino. Let the work here for this repair. Start to finish. I mean, what does today make it feel like? It's a burrito. A burrito glass. Great. Quite a relief. One of the good things about this company, i got to say, is that it was built on time and on budget. And you don't see that because a lot of companies, you know, when they bid on projects, they think the cities and towns are cash cows. Okay? You know, when I met his dad, his dad is one of the guys that's salt of the earth. You know, whole time guy, knows what it's like, you know, knows how important it was to the community. And his father gave us his word that he would work very hard. You know, we couldn't predict the weather, and, and, and thank goodness. But they did have some cold days, which makes it very difficult, obviously, to pour the cement. But uh, they did it. They did it. Uh, they did a fantastic job. I heard nothing but compliments from my town engineer, from my town planner, from my DPW director. And they worked diligently. As I said, they didn't uh, they didn't bloat the price like a lot of companies try to do that in cities and towns. These guys, it, it's, it's a fantastic com company. I, I look forward to to doing work with them in the future, hopefully when we have projects and they bid on them and they're the, the, the qualified bidder. A lot of this, this is their fruit right here. Yeah, and I'm very impressed with this company. And as a mayor, we work all the time. You have a company good for it, you don't know their work, but this this gentleman and his dad, this gentleman and his dad, they did a, a phenomenal job. I mean, we, we had, uh, I knew he had help from uh, Mr. Pickett, one of the local 
What was the what was the cost? It's, um, uh, over a hundred thousand dollars. I don't have the exact number. Over a hundred thousand dollars. And, and you know, people say, well, that's not a lot of money. There's a lot of money in these economic times. And that's, I was concerned if I did write out a check. Uh, I quite frankly don't believe we would have got reimbursed from the federal government. And it's, you know, we had, as I said, we had Secretary HUD come here, standing on the bridge. You know, going to get it done quicker, bigger, stronger.